everybody, welcome to Pleasure Sports. Today we're going to take a look at Billabong's new foil. This is the 5-4 millimeter thickness. That means there's actually 4 millimeter neoprene in the upper body and 5 millimeter neoprene in the core and the lower body here. Um, this suit is actually a wonderful suit. It's at a great price point. Um, it's a glued and blind stitch suit, which means in the manufacturing process the seams were first glued together and then a blind stitch was put on the suit. And the blind stitch doesn't penetrate all the way through both pieces of neoprene, so it's actually a watertight seam. Um, it's really wonderful. So let's take a look at what you get for your money. If you look at the front part of the, the foil, you'll see that you have a shark skin panel here. Um, on the reverse side of this panel, we have a, a chest furnace fiber lining, and that actually gives you extra warmth. And this is the suit turned inside out, so you can actually see that furnace lining. This is heat retaining. Uh, and it also um, wicks water away because of the materials used. And it's actually really cozy when you're wearing it inside the suit, especially if you're not wearing anything underneath it. Um, it's really it's nice and padded and keeps your core nice and warm. Um, what, this, what this shark skin does is actually doesn't allow uh, wind to penetrate it and actually allows water to be repelled right off of it. Again, reinforcing the core of the wetsuit, staying warm. Uh, Billabong has put some great features in this wetsuit. You can look at the back of the suit, you'll see more of those shark skin panels. Again, trying to keep the, the, uh, the attention on the organs and keeping them warm. Again, the shark skin panel wicking away the water, as well as being wind resistant. And then looking um, at the, uh, the back end or the inter interior of the back part of the wetsuit, you'll see again that furnace lining um, on this panel that actually is um, a water barrier between your back and the zipper, but you've got more of that same material, again, trying to keep the core nice and warm. Let's go back and look at the outside of the suit again. Um, this suit's really great in the sense that in the lower lumbar of the suit, um, you've got some really strategic panels here that are long and that have minimal seams. That actually allows for more stretch in the suit. There's no seams here, so you can actually straddle uh, your board or a jet ski or whatever it is that you're doing with the wetsuit from a sport perspective and you won't be putting um, stress on seams that uh, could actually end up tearing the suit so it was really well designed as far as where to strategically put the panels. Um, this suit's made of two types of neoprene, a really uh, super stretchy neoprene that's six way and that's pretty much put all the way up in the upper body of the suit. You can actually see a little bit of a difference of sheen uh, if you look at the wetsuit up close and uh, in, in the stretchy parts of the, the material. If you look here underneath the arms, you have no seams in the underarm gussets and that allows you to really stretch out in this suit. It's really gummy. Um, again, great paneling. The, um, the more standard neoprenes are put in the side body where it doesn't require as much stretch and in the front body in the lower portion of the suit, this little bit darker uh, sheen of a neoprene. And the stretchier parts again put in the interior of the thigh, behind the leg and the lower calf and the lower leg, which is really wonderful. Um, you've got abrasion resistant knee pad and there's a, there's a bit of padding in there. The suit's anatomically cut. You can see the shape here already in the shoulders. Um, they study how the body naturally uh, sits in the sport that you're doing and they actually cut the panels to pre-articulate and to fit anatomically to your body. And what that actually translates to is a suit that fits really naturally so that uh, when water does come into the suit that's supposed to keep you warm, it doesn't pool around you. You don't have too much water. So the, the articulation in the suit is wonderful. Um, let's take a look at a few more features. In the back, we have an adjustable collar. We have a short zip. Short zip gives us more um, stretch in the suit when we have a shorter zip. When I open the suit, you have a nice little place to stash your key. And you also have um, this interior Superflex, um, it's an asymmetric barrier, water barrier. So if water were to penetrate through the zipper, it would actually hit the barrier and come down. And there's some pinholes down here that actually allow the water, if it does get through the top or through the zipper, that it allows it to drain. So that's really great too. Um, on the interior of that contour neck, we have a glide skin material. This actually creates a seal between your skin and the glide skin, helping prevent water from flushing into the suit, which is also wonderful. Um, from a construction standpoint, the, um, the foil is really, really durable. You can take a look at the interior again of this particular suit, and we'll notice that um, we've got spot taping, these little round dots here, on critical seams. We've got some great welding 
um, reinforcements also to keep the critical areas of the suit really strong and durable so that they don't tear. Uh, again, you can see the different types of materials being used in the suit, the red being the super stretch materials, and the more standard um, being in the black. You'll notice down in the leg on the interior of the suit, you'll see an internal weld around the knee. Um, they know that the knees, uh, when you're on a surfboard or you're doing different sport, takes a lot of pressure when you're bending the legs. So they've actually reinforced these key areas with the suit. It's a really wonderful suit and it's a great price point suit. Um, this suit actually comes with a free hood uh, and you can see it here. It is glide skin on the outside, wind resistant, water repellent. You've got an adjustable cinch on the face. You've got a little built-in uh, sun visor here and it's not too big so it's um, really well profiled. And um, you get the hood with uh, each one of the wetsuits and you got this great skirt that can fit underneath here to help prevent water from coming in and flushing. So it's just a great design altogether. Um, hopefully I covered all the features of the Billabong Foil 5.4 millimeter wetsuit. But if I miss anything on this wetsuit, take a look at our website and learn more at PleasureSports.com.